What's up guys, Coach Gabby Ewan here, and today uh, we're gonna talk about wrapping knees. And one thing that's really overlooked when you're wrapping knees is actually pre-rolling the wrap. So there's a couple ways you could do this. Uh, I'm gonna show you, this is an apparatus that we have from Texas Strength. If you don't have this apparatus, that's totally fine. There's hand rollers you can get so people get fancy with screwdrivers. Other thing you could do is just kind of old school um, when no equipment needed, you kind of step on it, get the stretch out, and kind of roll it up, almost like you would like kind of rolling up a tent or something like that. Um, but the main thing is you want to really kind of get the slack out of it, get it nice and tight. The more you can kind of pre-roll these, uh, the better. So I'm going to just kind of show you how to use the machine. I'm just going to do one. Uh, while I'm doing it, I'm also going to just kind of talk about different types of wraps. So what I like about these little bridge wraps, these are from Pioneer. Uh, number one, they have this kind of stripe here. So it's really nice. It's, it makes it easy to kind of get the layers correct when we actually show the wrapping part. Uh, and this has a good kind of combination of kind of stretch but also some stiffness. So basically, usually the stretch here, the wrap is, typically it's gonna be more of a rebounding type wrap, and the stiffer it is, it's gonna be more like a cast, it's gonna give you more stopping power. So there may be pros and cons of each, and also depending on if the lifter descends fast into the hole, or if they are a little bit more methodical. Uh, lighter weight lifters may potentially want more stopping power because they can hit depth easier. Bigger lifters maybe potentially want more rebound, but not as much stopping power if you have trouble hitting depth. So these are all considerations, but this is a good kind of uh, kind of marriage. This is kind of the wrap I recommend to most people, um, even at the high, highest level. So what I'm gonna do is kind of pull up on here and then roll this in like this. Now I'm gonna kind of do this quick, but I can kind of yank it this way and pull. I could also kind of come this way. And I'm using that line to kind of line up. So a wrap that is stretchier, you're gonna be able to get more of the slack out. A wrap that's uh, a little stiffer, it might be a little bit more challenging. You might need to put a little bit more elbow grease into it. And then kind of once I'm done, what I'd like to do, which I forgot to have any here, but uh, you can see some of these wraps over here have rubber bands or hair, or hair ties. So once I'm done, I'm gonna put a hair tie on this. And depending on, so as you can see, this one is not pre-rolled. This one is, and you can kind of see the difference already. So now we're kind of ready to rock and roll, uh, but good kind of tip, if you really wanna get the most out of your knee wrap, is kind of pre-roll pre -roll the wrap. So that's, and then we're gonna take a quick break, and then we go into actually wrapping these. Thank you guys for watching. Until the next video, stay tuned and stay strong. We'll see you soon.